What makes a face healthy and beautiful? The two terms are fairly synonymous. Someone who's very healthy uh, tends to have quite a nice looking face and we're hardwired um, genetically to be attracted to people who are healthy, symmetric, um, who are well. And although there's a very strong genetic influence on how you grow and how you look, clearly there are also some strong environmental influences. And the environmental influences can be affected. So in real terms, an individual can affect how they look. And understanding the factors beneath this is vital for influencing how your facial appearance is. The image on the left here is illustrating various different muscle groups and their effect on the facial appearance. If we take Jude in this picture on the right hand side and I greatly simplify this image. So I simply say that we have an inner and an outer U-shape. The inner U-shape is determined by the tongue. The outer U-shape is determined by the muscles of mastication, the biting muscles. The re relative amount of posture and function has yet to be completely determined. However, it's much more likely that posture is far more important than absolute function. So it's the resting position of the tongue and it's the resting muscle tone of the biting, the chewing muscles that are more important than their absolute strengths. <clears throat> if I then compare an image that's not been touched up, it's quite evident to see that in the inner U the face is set back slightly compared to the outer U. And a very subtle difference, but very, very important to understand, and that's what I'll describe in this d description, this lecture. If we take away everything else, so simplify things, it's an essential part of science is to simplify things. So we simplify it in to just having the bone where the nerve is taking away all the teeth. So these are some skulls of people who have lost all their teeth. And this is the section of the bone that the muscle affects. So I refer to this as the bucket handle. The bucket handle can swing up or down, and that's synonymous with an upswing or a downswing of the facial complex, as I describe in the concept of craniofacial dystrophy. Now, we do want to remember that, um, comparing back, of course, to Jude, you can see where the, um, in this section, you have the bucket handle. You have the section of the mandible with the nerve in it, that section of the mandible that doesn't change very much. And as the muscles of mastication, the resting muscle tone lifts the bucket handle up, you can see the bucket handle evident on Jude's face. Now, up to this, uh, roughly this point here, so the simple extraction of the teeth can have an effect, and they can have quite a large effect, and it is noticeable when people have taken teeth out, the before and afters that I have seen. And, of course, here's an individual who destroyed his mid-face with an attempted suicide, and you can see how that bucket handle is evident because we've taken away the mid-face. So the, more, the structure of the mid-face is gone, that makes it more evident. And of course, this is the important slide. This is time added in. And this is the effect that we want you, or you want yourself, to achieve, whether you can affect how your face is looking. Because of course, for people with jaw joint problems, for people with many other problems like crooked teeth, getting the face to swing up can be greatly beneficial. And we need to ask the question, which 
section of the face, the inner you or the outer you, has become more prevalent over time for Jude. The inner section here, sorry, the inner section here or the outer section here, over time, which force, the tongue gently pushing up the middle U, or the resting musculature gently pushing up the outer U? Which one's been most influential? What do you think? Because my appreciation of this situation is it's Jude has gently lifted up the outer U, which is very, very common, particularly in driven, achieving men who clench their teeth a lot, and <clears throat> whereas biting and chewing will build up the resting muscle tone, so eventually build up the um, outer U, is not going to build up that inner U, and you need these to go in balance, and there can be problems if these aren't in balance. So, if you want to develop a healthier face, if you want to fulfill your genetic potential, then you need to work both on the tongue, its resting position, and on the resting muscle tone. And these two need to go synonymously, together, to build a healthy and more attractive face.